everyone, welcome to a new decluttering, sorting out, tidying up sort of video. Today we are back in my dressing room. I don't know what order these are going to go out in because I'm in the middle of doing about three or four different declutter videos from this dressing room. The reason being is that we've just had an electrician in to change the dangly pendant light that was in the middle of the ceiling to four down lights inset into the ceiling. So. Now I can finally stand in the middle, look in the mirror and actually be able to see myself, which is really good rather than just be totally in the shadow. So I had to clear everything out. This wardrobe is stuck out because he had to get access to the loft in the corner. So I had to empty this out. It's still out because as we thought, well, while it's out, we'll get some stuff in the loft. So anyway, I'm rambling, but so those are the reasons why it's all sort of happening at one. So today we are tackling bags. Yeah, I cleared out all the bags recently because I started a jewellery declutter video. They were all stacked up on the chest of drawers behind you. I've got a little bit of a clip of what it used to be like. It was just a big pile of bags. I couldn't see what I had and I needed them out of the way in order to have the space to sort out my jewellery. So I put it all in one of these big bags like this, which I bought specifically for this and for clearing out the wardrobe and stuff. So I'm gonna go through it and make a couple of piles, stuff to keep, stuff to get rid of. I'll link below my dressing room tour video because in that I pointed out all the things that I wanted to do in here and one of them was declutter and clear out the stuff on top of the wardrobes. So I will probably do that later on in this video because I've ordered some of those canvas cubes which I think I'll put on their side along the top there to put in my bags. And that's the plan for where they're gonna go. Let's get on with it. I'm just gonna pull these out one by one. Right, we've got a Kipling bag in a sort of pale gray, off-white sort of color. I'm gonna keep this. I think I have, is it two or three Kipling bags? I came across them when I was just looking on eBay for a bag and it has all the criteria I want for a handbag. It has to be zipped up. So there's no point in me getting a magnetic clasp or a flat, I just want a zip. What have I got in here? A little leather bracelet in here. I'll pop that over my bracelets. <laughs> oh, and a pound coin. <laughs> yeah, I'll go through what I've left in my bags while I'm at it. It might be interesting. A sort of what's in my old bags as well. Oh, this is my cruise card when we went on a cruise holiday. God, my fringe is acting really strangely. August 2017. I'll add that to my memories folder of that holiday. Oh, do you know what I need? I need a, ah, oh, perfect. I need a carrier bag to be a bin bag. Snotty tissues, there's gonna be a few of these I expect. So yeah, I was saying, it's waterproof, it's got all the pockets inside for my knickknacks, it's got a zip up pocket on the inside for more knickknacks, it's got the zip up pocket on the inside from when you carry it, and this is perfect, it's a good size. That's where you, usually where I keep my phone so that it, number one, it's secure and number two, you can feel it vibrate against your hip when you're carrying it so you know when someone's calling you. So this is from eBay. I've taken off, I think they all come with like a monkey charm. I don't really like that sort of thing so I took that off. I do like a lot of pockets in a bag. Yeah, so I am gonna keep that. It's useful to have a neutral coloured bag that can take you anywhere really. So that's keep. I hope I'm gonna speed up with this a little bit. A little shoulder bag that I've got from Accessorize. And I bought that specific, I bought this specifically for the cruise because of, of course the nautical stripes and I do like, I do like dressing up in the nautical stuff in the summer. So although it's a little on the small side, I'm keeping that. Now this bag, I'm in two mines. I think I'm gonna have to keep it, but I have to admit I haven't used it in a long time. I bought this. This is one of those really crazy purchases. We were in America at a Renaissance fair and there was this beautiful this stall and it just had just beautiful velvet things and I'm a sucker for velvet. I love anything. I like clothes velvet. I like curtains velvet. I just love velvet. And so when I saw this velvet bag, I had to have it and it wasn't cheap because of course it's handmade, all patchwork together. I love this sturdy leather adjustable strap, but it's looking so tatty and I already told you my criteria and there's no bloody zip. So what I did when I used this bag was, I might come across it, I can't see it at the moment, but you can get those little zip up pouches which has all the pockets in it. 
and the idea is you can take them from one bag to another well I used to keep that in here so then I just zip it up but it was a pain and you know what I'm not going to get rid of it but I think I'm not I, I think I know I'm never going to use this as a bag I think instead I'm going to use it as storage. So yeah, I might hang this up either in here or somewhere else and think of something to store in it because I don't, I can't, I can't take it away, but I know I'm not going to use it. Am I taking too long? Perhaps I better speed up with this a bit. Right, this was a bag that I bought when we were on holiday in the Lake District. And oh no, the mice have eaten it. Oh, I liked this bag. I only bought this last spring and I can see what they were trying to get. Look, that's a Ferrero Rocher wrapper. I think I might mend this. I like the bird pattern. It's a really pretty pattern. I bought this because I think I was using this bag. Just wasn't big enough. Doesn't fit in like things you need for a full day trip out on holiday. Like I need my camera, I need a couple of lenses, I need my vlogging camera, not to mention an umbrella, dog poo bags, you know, when you're out for the day with a family, you need a decent sized bag. So I bought this from the market in Keswick. Yeah, it's got the zip at the top. Again, a good long strap. I do like a crossbody bag. Right, I'm gonna empty this out. I'll tell you if there's anything interesting. I think it's just receipts and snotty tissues and the odd Ferrero Rocher wrapper. I'm so cross about that hole though. I'm gonna mend the hole. Oh, I must have been using this. Yeah, so April 2017. Entrance to the gatehouse tower at Knoll House in Kent. On my birthday. That's when we went on my birthday. Almost to the day, this time two years ago. And in here is a complete photography plan for when we went to Cornwall of the outfits I needed to take partly for the blog when I grow up blog.com and partly for my clothing business, Threads of a Fairy Tale. Don't need that anymore, that can go in the bin. What did I say? Poo bags! <laughs> and more tissues. Okay, I'm gonna keep it. Oh, I don't know what to do about this one. If you've seen my attempts at declutters before, you know I get stuck on anything remotely sentimental. This was my nappy bag for rain. And I actually, I remember it sitting in Chris's mum's living room on her fireplace hearthstone. And we got it all packed, ready to take to the hospital. Can I get rid of it? I don't know where it came from. Probably Tunbridge Market. I've decorated it with some 3D fabric glitter glue which is peeling off i don't like it anymore it's far too i would say blokey a bit utilitarian it's also really big i don't really need a bag this big i have used it recently i know i used it to like just carry some clothes to the camper van when we were just doing an overnight trip anything in it at all a couple of hairbands, a couple of leads. They look familiar, but I can't remember what they're for. What do you think, guys? Should I get rid of it? What do I do? Do I just get rid of it? It was my nappy bag. <sighs> I think I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get rid of it. Come on. Let, I haven't got rid of anything yet. Let's get rid of it. I'm not one of these people that feel great for getting rid of things. I just feel anxious. But this was a bag that was floating around. I thought it belonged to the kids. They thought it belonged to me. I don't remember it. It looks like the sort of thing I would buy on holiday. The sort of thing that goes really well with like surfy clothes. Is it meant to be a camera bag? Like a a cooler sort of camera bag i think i'm gonna say no to this because it's just too small i think i'd only ever go for a small bag like this if you know needed an evening bag i'd never have a bag this small on a day out so i'm gonna say this is gonna go what's in it oh proof it was one of the kids it's one of those glow in the dark bracelets right next this was a gift from my aunt and uncle you wouldn't believe how many things i still have from them over from over the years and i used this as my college bag when i was going to university again it doesn't have the zip it's too small unfortunately to hold a file otherwise i'd have it as like my choir folder bag or something but again i might keep this for storage like just to put things in because i hate i'm too sentimental <laughs> I'm not good at this, I, I told you. Right, next, the string bag, which I'm pretty sure was my Nan's from Nanny Up The Road. And I can't remember why I ended up with it. It's definitely not something I would have bought. Oh, I don't know, possibly I got it from a charity shop. Seriously, I'm talking upwards of 25 years ago. Proper vintage. 
you know, full swing 90s. A hippie bag was just what I wanted at the time. Can't remember what I used it for then. Maybe my dancing stuff. Didn't use it for years and then who'd have thought it? String bags came back into fashion year before last. So I've put inside it this silk bag, which I got free with a purchase at Glastonbury Festival. So that works as sort of the inner bag that goes in that. And yeah, I'm keeping that. That's a definite keep. Okay, we've got another bag similar to that blue one which I did buy at Glastonbury Festival for a couple of pounds from the second hand shop. I knew I wanted just a smaller travel bag. What have I got in here? I've got in here. I've got a Pro Plus pill, essential for any holidays with me. A bit of string. Oh, what's in here? Ah, oh, a couple of old Oshun business cards. That is no more. I changed the name to Threads of a Fairy Tale. Oh, I'm in two minds about this. I know I have used it, but I'm going to put this in maybe and think about it because there are times when I do just want a small bag. I've been going for 20 minutes already. The camera just shut off. Right, this blue bag. I like this. This is my smart. Oh, this is full of stuff. This is my smart summer bag and I only bought it. I bought this in America last year, last January. Yeah, smart occasions for the summer, like, I don't know what sort of smart occasions I have to go to, but you know, they occur sometimes. Amsterdam Hotel, Wi-Fi password, Stamford. That's where we were staying that time. I bet you I needed these receipts when I was doing the tax and I missed it. The receipt for the red umbrella we had to buy because it was pouring with rain in Mystic. I don't think I need to keep that. Plaster, obviously always needed when you're walking about sightseeing so yeah that's a keeper definitely keeping that that's quite new right another sentimental bag i'm gonna say goodbye to this one this used to be <laughs> this used to be my smart bag believe it or not i love the colors and it. it goes with most things oh got a few bits and pieces in here oh norwegian oh this is where we went to florida <laughs> a hair clip I'll keep that some more snotty tissues and that's that bag empty and i'm gonna say goodbye to it because i haven't used it in years i used to use it all the time it's got a hole in it it's not exactly smart anymore it might have been smart for me 20 years ago or so goodbye i'm say goodbye right a primark rucksack now we only bought this again this time last year oh set of headphones keep that Another plaster, keep that, and an elastic band that can go in the bin. Oh, what's that? The big bus tour. Oh, so that's from Italy, so I took it to Italy. Copy of Chris's driving license, always handy when you're away. Oh, they won't be useful for much longer. Our European health insurance card. Oh dear, good job I haven't needed them since then. More plasters. One of these, what they're called, carabiner clips. This, I bought these um, specifically for our Italy holiday. I don't know, you've probably heard the rumours about Rome and about the pickpockets. So what I did with the rucksack is anything valuable. I put a clip through the loop here. Onto that was the loop round my purse, the loop round my camera, the loop round my lens bag and that worked so well and also I had another clip oh yeah still on it I had another clip here uh, most of the time my camera dangled from my hip on that one and that was really handy because when you're wearing it you can just slide it up like that and I didn't even need to take that off the clip I could just hold up my camera like that and take a photo there you go there's a little travel tip for you so yeah I'm going to keep this I bought this in Primark like I said and I have to admit it was specifically for Instagram that really bad <laughs> because I've noticed <laughs> that, that the travel bloggers tend to wear a rucksack rather than a shoulder bag so I thought well I'll, I'll give it a go just for Instagram is that really bad so that when we are traveling around I look like a bit more like a travel blogger that sounds terrible doesn't it I'm probably not the only one in the world though yeah so that's my little confession about this bag because I'm not usually a rucksack sort of girl but I love this color I like the texture on the flap there yeah, it pretty much goes with everything, so I'm keeping that for now. I have to admit, not keen on a rucksack, but I bought another one. I bought another one. I've been bag shopping recently. I didn't even realise. This one I bought in Typo in Bath in the summer, and it was half price. I love the pattern on it, this sort of cutwork floral pattern. And the rose gold zip I thought was lovely. Again... I kind of only bought it for Instagram. I feel terrible, but I did. <laughs> okay, this bag. Again, I bought 
pre-vlogging you can tell because that's tiny and I'm gonna get rid of this I get this is originally from Marks and Spencer's but I bought it off eBay I was looking for a brown leather bag receipts that's gonna be too old whatever it's from another plaster and another Oshun business card and another receipt it's too small and I haven't used it I used it as my I mean this I bought this as my main bag and I did for a while surprisingly I don't know how so that's going too small right here's another one of my Kipling bags that I bought a while ago oh, this is full of stuff god do you know what I should have used this this winter I'm still on the lookout believe it or not for a winter bag oh oh that's part of a map of New York I'll keep that oh that's just a business card I've picked up at Glastonbury at the frost fair I think yeah pottery I think there was definitely a craft fair of some kind oh these were a receipt for some gloves I bought in Bath at Crip just before Christmas last year. It was so cold. I didn't expect it to be that cold. Gatwick parking receipt. Ah, oh, mini, mini, mini tripod. Keep that, I'll move that to my current bag. Hairband, old receipts. I'll just chuck them. I can't look at everything, can I? We have one of those chips that Tesco hand out for voting for which charity you think deserves money more which i think is wrong should just donate five cents and one cent oh my god i wondered where they were oh no i feel terrible i bought these in michael's in america and i wondered where they'd got to i bought this one specifically to make a pendant necklace for myself i bought these two simply because they were on sale and I do make jewellery for threads of a fairy tale sometimes or incorporate that sort of thing into a, into a dress. But, and then I bought some press studs because I had a pair of slippers that did up with press studs and it had broken and I was going to fix it and obviously I didn't fix it. Oh my goodness. Well, I never. Gosh, we're running out of daylight. I need to really get a move on. Sorry, I should have explained. Michael's is a craft shop similar to Hobbycraft, in a, but in America. <laughs> A very squished Alpen light bar, a vlogging camera battery. Oh my goodness, I did not clear out this bag when I stopped using it. A rental car receipt. I think this will be one I get rid of when I find the perfect winter bag to go with my winter coat. Right, we are nearly at the bottom of the pile. Can't get rid of this. It says when I grow up and I couldn't believe my luck when i saw this on ebay again i was just browsing looking for a bag i have to admit i would not have bought it because there is no zip at the top but it's the name of my blog and so i had to get it and i did wear it to the blogging event that i went to uh with next christmas before last and i spoke to Anna from the Anna Edit and Lily Pebbles and they spotted my bag, they spotted that it matched my name, my, the name of my blog. So it's a good talking point for a blogging event so I'm definitely going to keep this and just change to this bag when if I ever go to any others. It's an indulgent purchase because I know I'm not going to use that on an everyday basis without a zip but I did buy this one at the same time because I saw it as well. By the way this is um these are both the brand is disaster designs not cheap brand new but again worth looking out for on ebay bags are one of those things i think you know obviously you have to be careful with anything from ebay i think i'm going to do a separate video about that because i buy from ebay all the time i think people are quite scared of it sometimes if you're not used to it but bags are fairly are a relatively safe bet so this one <laughs> I have never, I'll be honest, I haven't used it. And it's just got these beauty, this sort of travel theme pictures on it, which I really like. Again, a nice long strap. I love the colour. I wonder if this could be my winter bag. I don't know, it feels like summery, travel -y sort of a bag. I'm going to keep it because I love it. If I don't use it soon, I'll consider selling it. But I do really like it. I'm keeping it for now. Okay. Oh, I'm going to get rid of this. Shall I get rid of this or shall I keep it? No, I am going to get rid of this. So I bought this, I think, in a charity shop for 50p because I needed a smart little bag. No, I'm going to get rid of it. I've, I bought it years ago. I've never used it. So obviously I don't have the occasions to need it. I did go to a wedding at the weekend and instead I used a little round black bag 
that was actually gifted to me at that next event. The only thing that's making me cling on to it is if that circle one goes really out of fashion. It wouldn't fit my phone and my purse, let alone my phone, my purse and a camera. So no, that's gonna go. Oh, <laughs> I can't get rid of it. Chris has had this bag since we met. Um, it was his bag that he always carried around Glastonbury Festival. It's a rucksack, it's like a proper old, you know, very classic 90s hippie sort of a bag. I'm going to put that in with my storage stuff. If I give it a use, then it's alright to keep, isn't it? Okay, I'm back. I thought I may as well finish this whole bag collection um, and show you... Oh, where have I put it? Did I leave it in the other room? I'm talking to the camera. Well, I was talking to myself. Right, I'm back. I thought I may as well finish off this whole bag collection so you can see everything I've got. And we're finishing on the bag I was telling you about that I've been using over winter as my just regular handbag, if you like, shoulder bag. This bag and this bag <laughs> are gonna go. They're gonna go when I've found that replacement bag um really i just want a black one or a gray one and then i know they're going to go with all my winter coats and i might even keep that one and just get rid of that one eventually because i do like denim as um i hardly ever wear jeans so i think this will be a good sort of holiday bag that you don't mind getting don't mind if it gets dirty you know it's that sort of a bag oh i'm going into too much detail about all these bags sorry and lastly this is one i bought again for the cruise i bought it at the same time um in accessorize as that stripy nautical one right at the beginning of this video smart summer handbag perfect for weddings and now i've just remembered the black round one i did take to the wedding last bag that will be the last bag i'll go and get that in a sec so yeah this one i um i loved it i bought another one for my sister actually as well because I thought she'd like it and I'm regretting oh there is stuff in here I'm regretting it there was a matching like tote bag that I also bought her and I'm regretting not getting one of those for myself as well all right what do we have in here this is probably just stuff from I wore I wore this bag to Rain's graduation that was the order form for her graduation DVD that was from our fancy meal we went to afterwards and I think that's empty so that's that one and now my battery is flashing I'm gonna quickly grab that black bag the black bag from next I have not been gifted many things as a blogger but this is a good one I like it I like the little studs around the edge I like that sort of rocky feel to it a bit makes it a bit edgy i think i have a cardigan stuffed in it at the moment to keep it shaped because i took it with me like i said to the wedding in kent and had to pack everything up small so there is stuff in here <laughs> including another squashed alpen light snack of choice and snotty tissues and i did snot at that wedding because i just weeped like a baby i'm awful at weddings i it's it was embarrassing it was, I made the worst noise ever when everyone else was really quiet because I was trying not to cry. Anyway, that's that. I'm rambling again. I shall shut up and say goodbye for now. The light is, I mean, the sun set about half an hour ago. This, this camera is amazing in low light. But I'm going to say goodbye <laughs> for now and I'll see you again just to show you the clear up of the top of the wardrobes and putting it all away. See you soon. Hello everyone, I'm joining you from the future because as I'm in the middle of doing this whole room I've discovered three more bags and as I've told you that those bags that I've just sorted out are my entire bag collection I thought I'd bring you the full story and show you the three that I've just found I think I know already that they're going I think they're going to be in the declutter pile and I think from touching them just now I think they've still got stuff in so we'll discover together what is inside the bag. So I'm going to start with the nearest one to me. It was a freebie bag with a magazine. I really don't know what's in here though. Oh okay. Obviously I've used this to keep stuff I didn't know where to put anything else. Bits of jewellery. Okay. That's just typical. <laughs> I've just finished filming literally a couple of minutes ago my jewellery declutter so you're getting a bit of a sneak peek in what it ends up looking like actually and there's some bits of tangled jewellery here so let's pop this up here and sort through it i've just seen some things i'm gonna have to keep even though i never wear them we used to go on holiday in cornwall pretty much every year with my family in padstow i remember very clearly i remember the hotel room we were in and everything i remember very clearly the time i bought this it's a necklace i don't believe in astrology at all I'm afraid I know it's becoming increasingly fashionable to do so but at the time and I think I must have been about nine years old I found it quite fascinating that someone else could tell me 
I was courageous. I remember this came with a leaflet. Aries as a go-getter, full of energy and drive. Oh, what else did it say? I can't remember, but it is so not me. I'm literally the opposite of what Aries is supposed to be. But I thought it was lovely that someone could tell me how good I was. So I was entranced by it and I bought this little this little pendant and this wasn't I think the chain must have broken because this original ribbon wasn't with it in fact I'm going to throw this ribbon away and just keep the pendant oh right you didn't come here for a jewelry declutter let's just go over the rest of this quickly we've got a very 90s Celtic cross here this little whistly thing that I bought from Penshurst Craft Fair when I was about 10. No, I must have been younger than 10. About seven or eight, I suppose. A few of those intricate beads that we all wore in the early 90s. Um, Chris's dog tags, again. My God, this is like, this is what the 90s was really like, people. And one of those hippie bags. Very useful, actually, for when you're on holiday or at Glastonbury Festival and you need to keep your money safe. I think I'll throw this away as the zip's broken but you know you can loop that around your rucksack strap and then you know people can't just reach in and grab stuff and run with it. So yeah that's going in the bin pile and a little elephant sequin bag. I think that sadly can go as well. I think that's probably good enough quality for charity shop maybe. So there we are. Now that can go too. Right let's speed up a bit. Taking my time here. This was a, my school bag for a while. This is how long I hoard things for. Bought it in the market. Waterproof, you know, ever practical. Lots of pockets. Um, is there anything in here? No, this is empty. I have kept this in the past. God, there are loads of pockets because it is useful to take a waterproof bag to Glastonbury Festival, as you can imagine. But I think this has lost its waterproofness and it looks ugly, doesn't it? It looks very blokey, actually and it's very stained and old so that is gonna go oh yeah look i've even safety pinned an extra padding on there because yeah this was what i took around Glastonbury festival when we were taking the kids when they were really young so you really did have to load up with a whole load of stuff lots of things to keep them entertained when you wanted to watch the band snacks you know I don't think I need a bag as big as that anymore. Oh, a couple of, another thing quickly. This is one of those things that you um, can put your stuff in and transfer from bag to bag. When I was talking about, oh, so when I was talking about this bag, this is what I meant. I kept my stuff inside there, all zipped up. And so that kept all my bits and bobs secure. And this, my final bag to show you, which has stuff in, I don't know what. This was my changing bag for Jude. And again, I used this one at Glastonbury Festival because it's waterproof. Looked a bit cool, that's why it's so grubby and muddy. Oh my goodness. So the last time I used this was as a bag at Glastonbury Festival. And I can probably tell you what year. This is the uh, little guide that you get given when you go in. It's got Rain's name on it, so this was obviously the one Rain carried around. <laughs> It's got Daddy's phone number is and it's got her address. So that was before we moved here because it's our old address. Oh, 2003. Daddy, that can just go in the bin. The ticket stub, the map. Oh, I love nostalgia festivals. Bit of a plasters packet. The envelope that had our parking sticker on it. Sorry, I'm going a bit down memory lane now, aren't I? A fairy door. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Oh my god. Oh no, it's broken in half. Oh, I'll have to fix that. That is a quite a smooth break. We could probably glue it back together. But look what I've just found. A fa literally a fairy door by the Cyber Witch Circus. That's sad that I'd forgotten all about that. The kids would have loved it. <gasps> <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Don't worry, it's fine. Kids would have loved to have put that up in the house as soon as we got home. Okay, I'll glue that back together. It's never too late. Sun cream, tampon, and the rest is tissues and the odd business card that I picked up, such as Fairy Love, which isn't gonna be at Glastonbury Festival this year. Can you believe it? They're like, I can't believe they weren't given their pitch back this year. Fairy Love have been, is a fantastic festival stall, if you don't know. They've, they've always been there. I don't remember a Glastonbury Festival when they weren't there. 
and they didn't get a pitch this year and I'm really cross about it. And then we've got some hair bands. Oh, an absolute ton of safety pins. Why did I take so many safety pins to Glastonbury Festival? Lip balm, butterfly hair clip. I'm just digging down just in case there are any more fairy doors or anything of interest like that. But I don't think so, I think that could be it. An amethyst stone. I'll add that to my collection in the kitchen. More tissues. You can never have too many tissues or toilet roll at Glastonbury Festival. Oh, an eyeliner. That was obviously important. And we're done. <laughs> so I'm going to put this bag with all of its old snotty, snotty tissues straight in the bin. Straight in the bin because the zip is a bit ropey now and the fabric's wearing away at the bottom and it did me well this bag really well but it's time to say goodbye well that's freed up a bit more space in this little alcove under the windowsill behind me and now i'll see you again in the past i think <laughs>
all finished and I only used four of my little canvas cubes I've got two left over so yeah I can lose some of these hangers most of those hangers in fact all of those hangers pretty much were being used before I had to empty out one of the wardrobes here but anyway we're done yeah so what was I saying yeah so two more can fit up here with other things in I don't know what perhaps I just need to buy some more bags <laughs> this just feels a bit weird I'm standing on a stool so that I can get the bags in shot I hope you enjoyed looking through my bag collection I did manage to get rid of I think six or seven bags in the end plus a pile of bits of, of this old junk that was up here so I think I did go right I don't know what order these are going in but I've also got a I've got lots of decluttering my shoes my jewelry generally a big sort out of all my clothes in here I haven't really gone through them in a while so do stick around if you, if you like that sort of thing and you're not subscribed already please hit that red button below and if you think your friends would like this channel please share the link with them I'd really appreciate it and that's it I'll see you again next time thank you for watching bye